Hi YouTube, what's going on? So basically, um, I had an interview that Tracy Living My Truth did, and um, she basically nailed the coffin on um, Mona Simone's YouTube career, bad April Fool's joke, um, lies, and interview. <laughs> I mean, she said some things in there, like, um, yesterday when her and Mona Simone did the interview, that they talked about it. I don't believe I heard it online. You know, we all would have said, hell no, yesterday, right? But, um, obviously and apparently after they got off the phone with all of us, they talked behind the scenes. And one of the things that came up is, Shimona play a freaking April Fool's joke saying she's dead. <clears throat> Excuse me, now, people, 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 only Tracy can say it better and best, so I'm going to let Tracy go ahead and let you let you hear a little bit of what she says, but before I do that, just know, Tracy was like first agreeing, and then she wasn't in agreement, and then when she realized how everybody reacted today, you know, she says it pretty much hurt her heart. She was grieving. She was feeling bad how Miss Gina was feeling. Jay Wilson. Um, and basically, I want to say, give no place to the devil. Give no room to the devil, for he is the father of lies. The devil could be a woman. The devil could be black or white. Let's not play this game, okay? These spirits is trying to attach themselves to weak, depressed people. And if you were a part of the Mental Health Mondays today on this channel. We talked about depression. It is real, and suicide attaches itself to depression. So go watch that video. It's in the playlist called Mental Health Mondays, okay? But I just wanna let you know that when it comes to suicide, most people, the thought process is, the devil made me do it in the world of faith. Um, that quote, is like a true cause of every possible suicide or attempted suicide or badass joke gone wrong for April Fool's suicide. Michelle, shame on you. Girl, we all got to stand before judgment. Um, what I would advise you to do is instead of coming up with stuff like this or being so poetic to make people think or allude to the fact that Mona committed suicide, um... Seek refuge in the Lord. See, when you're atheist and when you're polyamorous or or everybody's your God kind of thing, right? Um, oh yeah, I got some edges, don't y'all worry. <laughs> um, pretty much, you're lawless. Your soul is lawless. Your spirit is lawless. There's a disconnect, there's a disconnection, okay? And on this channel, guys, I try to encourage people with the word of God because I know the word of God is going to set the captive free. And Michelle, you and Mona over there captive on your own slave man's plantation doing this kind of stuff, okay? It's not for nothing. On January 29th, Jesse Smollett came before the black people and lied. Five A, January 29th, lied about Krista Stalker. R. Kelly, 30 years later, still lying that he doesn't sleep with girls underage young girls allegedly now you not to mention everybody else that's on youtube doing the same kind of fuck shit mona we understand but um nobody to the point where they want to take their own life or joke about it and you know Tracy came along and nailed the coffin came right behind you mona and said she really doesn't know you but it was like, oh, I love Mona. She had you and Fabi on the phone. When you um, called in, Fabi hung up. And now she doesn't know you, but Fabi is her moderator. I mean, there's a song I like. Okay, guys. Let me see. So the song kind of goes like this. Oh, yeah, life goes on. Long after the thrill of living is gone. Oh yeah, life goes on Long after the thrill of living is gone Rock on Man, listen I have a few quotes here, Bible verses For anybody that's feeling suicidal um, 
if you listen to Mental Health Monday earlier, it basically tells you that um, there's other approaches besides psychotherapy and the medications they offer. Some people use acupuncture, um, faith, uh, nutrition, but it's not backed up by science. And I say there's other people who use faith that's not backed up by science, but it's backed up by God, whom I believe is much more powerful than, 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 than science. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull up a few verses for you so that you guys are comfortable with a little scriptures, okay? Try to get through this quick. But as I was saying earlier, the devil made me do it. We have to stop blaming the devil. Let me pose this question to you. Is suicide murder of yourself? And I was always told that that was the one unforgivable sin that God does not forgive. I could be wrong here, but there's a lot of people that feel that way and believe that way. I'm still looking for it in the Bible, but I do know that God says here, life is a gift from God, and he loves everyone, and is not willing that any man should perish. Not that all should come to repentance, but that all should come to repentance. Find that 2 Peter 3 and 9. Um, Also... He that commits a sin is of the devil. The devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the flesh, the works of the devil, which will cause somebody to want to take their own life. 1 John 3 and 8. Then we go on. The fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and murderers shall have their part in the lake, which burneth with fire and brimstone. Find that Revelations 21 and 8. Um... And you got to be sober and vigilant because your adversary, the devil, is a roaring lion, walking about, seeking whom he can devour, 1 Peter 5 and 8. So it also goes on to say, for it is an appointment unto men once to die, and after that the judgment. See, people are spiritually dead. That's why they would play a bad joke on April Fool's Day, you know, to get attention or to seek whatever it is on these YouTube streets that they're lacking within their heart. 1 Peter 5 and 8. So, Hebrews 9, 27. The rich man died and was buried, and in hell he lifted up his eyes, being tormented. You can find that in Luke 16 and 22. That ain't no joke, y'all. It ain't all easy in the kingdom of heaven, but uh, the majority of us, because there have been some here, they come in, but they don't renew their minds. They're still conformed to the world. Somewhere over in Romans 12 and 1 through 3 or whatever, um, they're not being rewashed and regenerated by the Holy Spirit. And I always say, suicide, depression, mental health is a disconnect from God. A lot of people that suffer with mental health and out here in these streets acting like they don't have no covering or no solid foundation is apart from God. And that's the biggest vanity in the world, is trying to be happy apart from God. Mona, Michelle, you can't be happy apart from God. No matter how much cash app, money, donations, schemes, swindles, scams, whatever come your way. You can't escape this. Let me see if I can give you something else. I don't want to go over too much longer. But, um, for God so loved the world. Don't you know that? Why are you trying to even, you know, what you did today... And I'm trying not to get pissed off here because I want people to watch this video to actually get some help to prevent what you did today. There's no weakness in this world that will cause somebody to play a joke on human beings the way you did today. You may have set somebody off on course to go commit suicide because of your dumbness. You got people looking up to you. And these same people, the way they looked up to you may have failed today into their own depression, into their own sadness, into their own despair. And you can't pick them up. You can't pick up their pieces. And it's such a damn shame y'all follow that that woman anyway because you know what? She's not godly. To commit suicide is to jump from the frying pan to the fire. We already in the heat. We already in the heat of the night. We already in the judgment seat. Fire all around us. In the frying pan. And you want to jump out and cause people to jump with you into the fire? It is a literal fire of flames as well. Satan.
Satan tries to make people think there is no hell by making a joke of it. You cause hell on people today, young lady. You cause people to go further astray today. You have to answer to God. You and Michelle. Oh, girl, I can go there with you. Freddie's daughter. But Patty's daughter, the child of God. I'm going to let people hear how Tracy threw you under the bus, backpedaled, to just sold you out today. I don't know, maybe Fabe involved with it too because when Tracy was coming clean with her truth, Fabe was a moderator. I'm just saying, y'all, y'all need to stop. I've never seen grown people encourage children like the ones I see on YouTube doing. All right, so, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Why don't you want to be saved? Mona, I got six brains in one degree, okay? And all six of my brains telling me right now you're full of shit. And my one degree is telling me you're not as educated as you think you are. Doing this kind of nonsense. Freak is wrong with you black people that want to be so powerful, so prestige, so grandeur, so full of narcissism and sociopath and psychological personality borderline disorders and all this. Everything I'm teaching, Mona, ADHD, anxiety, uh, bipolar, uh, personality, borderline dis disorder or something like that. Uh, Mona, now depression we did today, Mona. But you want to avoid me? I blocked you. I blocked you and a lot of other content creators that don't fill my soul, that I feel is demonic, that I feel is leading people astray, that I feel I should be out here fighting. Not beefing, but fighting for souls. Because all of y'all is in hell. Tormented. Mentally. Girl, I told you this is not that video. Wherefore is he able to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, Christ, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them? Oh, life goes on. Long after the thrill of living is gone. Rock on. Alright, so it's about to tell me to end. That's Hebrews 7 and 25. Isaiah 1 and 18. God says, come. Come now. Come now. Let us. Come. Let us reason together. Saith the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be like red, like crimson, they shall be as wool. I don't hate mankind. I don't hate black people. I hate ignorant people because people perish for lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge is ignorancy, and what you did was straight up ignorant today. Tracy, you co-signed it with a weak, depressed, uh, struggling person like Mona. You set that on course, young lady. Now let's hear what Tracy has to say about this. Tracy living her truth. And she came half naked, y'all. Go to her video and see it. Uh, Mona Simone, uh, I don't know what it's called, y'all. Half naked, she had a dress on, but showing the... That's what you two want, is the seduction. She was able to seduce people today to side with her. When she said that her and Mona had this conversation, y'all should have shut it down. What, she got up to like 800 and something, to, uh, you know, views or so, um, you know, in the chat. People, in, you know, people in the chat. And, and I'm like, you know what, these people are crazy. Crazy for this stuff. So let me go on and give you a little bit of prayer with this. God, I am sorry I ever thought to destroy the precious gift of life you have given me and the opportunity of spending eternity with you. Forgive me. I renounce all connection with Satan and sinful habits, such as playing a bad
Oh yeah, life goes on Long after the thrill of living is gone Stop leading people to suicidal thoughts Get a grip on your shit over there, lady The Bible says, be ye not conformed to this world Hey y'all We live, y'all, we live it, it's, it's just disgusting. It's really sad. Gina, Gina is so, y'all. I was like, and Gina hurt my heart. I was like, oh my God. I was like, I don't even, but Gina lost a child. Hey, race car. Hey, Lady Linda. Gina lost a child that was 19 years old, and that hurt my heart. I was like, no, this is crazy. Okay, um, I'm waiting until probably about 20 more people come in here, and I'm, I'm going to tell y'all what, what's going on from what I said. And I thought, y'all remember, okay, this is, this is that one of those things. You know how, oh, I know. Hey, everybody. Hey, Opti, hey, Cynthia, hey, Tamika, hey, Yoli, hey, Precious Brain. This broke my heart. I know. Mama says, hey, hey, Goddess, hey, Jonay Boo, hey, Chupacondra, hey, Cookie, Cookie Head, hey, Precious Brain. We was going fast. Everybody's up in here. Okay, y'all. So let me tell y'all what happened. Okay, this is crazy. This is all out of control and just ridiculous. Okay, um, yesterday, y'all know I did the interview with Mona, right? Wait, let me give me some lotion. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Yeah. Should I just tell people, you know, should I just say that um, Mona Simone died? And I said, yeah, see how, see how people feel then that they know that you're dead. And I'm like, no, I'm just kidding. I was like, no. I said, because you may not want to do that. The reason why I said that is because when I did that thing, nobody, y'all didn't receive it the way that I thought. Remember how I like to joke around y'all? And I was like, um, what did I say? I was like, um, you know, when I was joking around about seven stars, and I was like, no, you ain't kill seven. And I was in the dark and everything all covered up. So, but you know how you go back right then and say everything's okay. And so I said, you better not because I wasn't received very well. You know, when I made that joke, because everybody didn't think that joke was funny. So, so she said, well, I don't know. Let me see if Michelle is going to do it. And according to these posts right here over on Facebook, I believe, Michelle did a whole lot. Read them for yourself. Okay. So, um, you're not shit, Tracy. You don't even know what I'm talking about. No, that's a troll. So anyway, so, um, so I said, um, I said, I don't think so. I said, because it's not going to be received well. Hey, Vanessa Boo, it's not going to be received well. So I didn't, I didn't think that she was actually going to do it or whatever. And if you do something like that, you come right back five or ten minutes later and be like, I'm just kidding, but not carry it on throughout hours. And especially when she said, well, I'm going to call the next day and I'm going to do it the next day. And, you know, and let them know the next day. And I'm like, you're going to tell people you died and tell them the next day? I was like, that's no. You, you, that's, I said, well, you, I mean, I thought that's on you. I said, you know what? That's really going to hurt. I said, if people don't trust you now, I said, really, then I don't trust you then. And she can show you that she can, uh, she records all the calls so she can let you know. Now, mind y'all, I have no problem with Mona. But I have a problem with the truth. And I'm like, no, you cannot. People are hurting. People are crying all over YouTube. I'm like, that is crazy. So I'm like, this is ridiculous. I'm, it's just too much. And I'm like, why would you? That's a whole, it's just not, it's not something you want to, why would you want to hurt all these people, make them hurt that bad? That's just dark to me. I can't, it hurts my heart. It hurts my heart. No, Tracy, I love you, but I don't trust Mona. I know she's your friend, but please be careful. No, no, I'm good. I don't really I don't, I don't really know Mona like that. You know, she's never done anything to me, but I don't know her like that. This is why I have to tell the truth, because that's wrong. You know, I'm like, you can't be telling all these people, and then people, I guess, are reaching out to her to tell her to tell her the truth or something. I'm not sure, but I, I in no way agree, co-signed, or anything to say, okay, Mona, go ahead and do this. It was ridiculous. Like I said, Mona, well, Mona has a report. Like I said, Mona, you know, this is going to be too much. You don't, there's such thing as joking, and there's such thing as not joking. Everything you are is worldly. Everything you do, I gotta wrap it up. It's telling me I gotta get going because I'm on this camera here and it only holds so many minutes to record. I don't know why. Mona, there's a continuation, okay? God bless you. I hope this helped, y'all. But uh, suicide and all that shit, I don't play like that. My mind is strong. My mind is healthy. Ain't nothing on these YouTube streets in life the devil have done to me that's gonna cause me to be separated from God. Once you're separated from God, that's where the weakness begins. I'm telling you, Mona. Oh, yeah, life goes on.
Save your life, Mona. <coughs> this is Religion with TV, and my spiritual ears say.